Hi everyone, welcome back to the Puttering Penman. Today I want to talk about some of my favorite ink bottle designs. Uh, so what I my criteria for this is um, just the, the bottles I like, and that's going to be based on its functionality for how easy it is to fill a pen, and also a little bit how they look. So... Let's start off with the Pelican Edelstein inks. So the packaging is pretty nice, it looks good. Uh, the Of the bottles I have up here, this is probably my least favorite, but as you can see, the bottle looks very nice. Um, the unfortunate part though is because it's uh, wide and shallow, it's not the easiest to fill ink from. If you have a lot of ink in it, it's pretty easy, but if you get down toward the bottom, it, it gets more difficult. Um, also, Pelican inks tend to be dry, and I like a, a wetter ink, so this isn't an ink that I reach for a whole lot. Um, but, you know, when I do, the, the bottle is nice to look at. Next, uh, this is Mont Blanc Lavender Purple. Um, you know, the color is irrelevant, basically all of their 60 milliliter bottles look like this. Packaging is nice, very secure, which I like. This is the bottle. It's usually referred to as a boot. Uh, my wife uses this ink a lot, which is why it's been it's you know, about halfway empty a little more than that. So this is Mont Blanc Lavender Purple. One of the nice things about this is that you tip the bottle this way, and then the ink will fill up right here in like the heel of the shoe. And then you can just um, dip your nib into that part because it'll be filled up. And then it's a little easier to fill the pen. So that's really nice. A lot of Mont Blanc pens are piston fillers, so, um, you know, it's very convenient for filling a piston filler fountain pen. Or, you know, really any pen, but I think they designed it with that in mind. Uh, next, let's talk about Pilot Orochizuku. So, much like the Pelican Edelstein inks, um, I think this is a really good-looking bottle. I don't, um, I don't really love the design, but as you can see, they have got this little, um, dip down here, so when the ink level is running low, you can actually get your nib in a little bit further to get more ink out, which is a nice design. The bottle looks very fancy, you know, it looks like a clone bottle. So, um, you know, overall, nice nice bottle to look at and pretty easy to use. That is a 50 milliliter bottle. Uh, next, let's talk. This is the 60 milliliter Namiki or Pilot standard ink bottle. This one sort of looks like a genie lamp, in my opinion. Uh, but the reason it's shaped like this is because you can actually put the bottle sideways and then you can get a little bit more ink out that way. So that's functional. Also, this um, ink comes with a little plastic cone on the inside. Let's see if you'll be able to see it. Yeah, you can see it there. It's the clear plastic on the inside. Basically what you do is you flip this bottle upside down, like that, and then the ink will rush toward the cap, and then you flip it back over and that cone is going to hold ink in there for, um, you know, for a few minutes at least, which is enough time for you to get the ink, uh, your nib into the bottle, and then, uh, then you can fill the pen easier because the ink level has risen up. Next one, this is Karen Dosh from their Chromatics line. The packaging is very nice, as you can see. Um, so this is the bottle. And then here is the ink bottle itself. You can see it's actually on a angle. And so the point of that is that it actually makes um, it easier to fill the pen as you can actually um, put the nib in sideways and you get a little bit higher level of ink. So this is both a nice looking bottle and a functional bottle, which is one of the reasons I like it. And the last ink bottle we're going to talk about today 
is uh, the 70 milliliter pilot bottle, which is uh, when you consider the functionality and aesthetics, probably my favorite. Um, you can't actually buy this in the US. You can from like Jet Pens or eBay. Um, but uh, Pilot USA does not bring it in for US authorized retailers. So uh, the main reason I like this is because it's just a very functional bottle. It's not too heavy, not very showy. And then it also includes that insert, like the Pilot 60 milliliter bottle also has. So you flip the bottle upside down, it collects ink in that cone on the inside, and then you can fill your pen very easily. So even though the ink level may be fairly low in this bottle, it's easy to fill, which is something I enjoy. So that is, these are some of my uh, you know favorite fountain pen ink bottles. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below and I'll be happy to answer them and I'll see you next time. Bye.